Investing is risky. The stock market can crash, the real estate market can turn into a bubble and then burst, or a new technology can rise like there is no tomorrow and crash within minutes. That's the nature of investing, but not if you invest in yourself. No one can take that away from you. It doesn't matter what happens to the world. That investment in yourself will pay back one way or another. We talk a lot about the stock market and the real estate, but we seldomly talk about investing in yourself. If you ask financially successful people about their greatest investment, they will say that it was an investment in themselves. Warren Buffett's greatest investment wasn't in Coca-Cola, but a communication course from Carnegie. For a long time, college was considered the greatest investment one can make in him or herself. But in the 21st century, in the age of the internet, that's not the case anymore. Almost every information that's out there is right in your pocket. All you have to do is pick up your smartphone and Google it. In this competitive digital world, let's find out what are the best ways you can invest in yourself and outperform everyone else. Number 1. Start a small business I know that it sounds a bit absurd, how starting a business is investing in yourself. But before you throw at me your angry comments, hear me out. There is no better way to invest in yourself than trying to build a business. In the process, you will grow so much that you can't even imagine it now if you haven't started any business yet. Running a business is extremely difficult. You need to be good at so many things, especially if it's a startup. You will have to improve your communication skills, manage your time better, understand the basics of finance, and at the same time, cope up with stress. You don't have to start anything huge, especially if you don't have the resources. You can start an online business even with as little as a hundred bucks. You can buy a lawnmower for a hundred bucks, for example, and start a side business cutting your neighbor's grass. In fact, I started this channel with just a hundred bucks. I'm not one of those guys who started watching YouTube since its early days, but much, much later. And I realized that most of these YouTubers just share their ideas and experiences. Even the most successful ones started with almost nothing. So I said to myself, I have a lot of ideas too. How about I start sharing them with the world? Let's see how that goes. I ordered a Blue Yeti microphone for a little over a hundred bucks and started making videos. I have to admit, they were absolutely horrible, because I knew almost nothing about video editing or animations and I didn't really care much because it was more like a hobby than a real business. But then I slowly started improving the quality and somehow it started picking up. So I had to hire motion designers and now it's like a little small business. You don't necessarily have to start a YouTube channel. There is an endless number of online businesses that do not require a lot of capital. Let's say you're good at playing a guitar or a violin. You can find someone who can help you with shooting and editing it for as little as a hundred bucks, turn it into an online course and sell it online. And the great part about it is that you don't even need a website because right now there are multiple great platforms to sell courses for free. And if it turns out to be successful, you can slowly turn it into a legitimate business. You can easily earn back your money and make much more. We are lucky to be alive at this age, because no matter where you are in this world, pretty much everyone has an internet connection. So this is probably a great option for most people. Number 2. Learn a valuable skill I'm a big fan of reading books and learning in general. However, in my experience, skills are far more important than knowledge. Think about how much information you have consumed in the last week or so. Probably a lot. With every video you watch or every article you come across or even every post you see when scrolling your newsfeed, you learn something new. And now let me ask you this, how much of that information is really useful? Not much. In fact, you will end up learning a lot of unuseful stuff in your life, which is not a big deal. But consider this, how many skills do you have? I guess not many, but you use them pretty much every single day. That's why focus on acquiring more skills. Every new skills means another source of income. The more skills you have, the more money you're going to make. You can read as much as you want about social media. It isn't going to help you much. 
But if you learn how to place effective ads on Facebook, for example, you can instantly turn it into a source of income. Or you can learn graphic designing, copywriting, web designing. There is an endless number of skills that could be turned into a source of income. Number 3. Invest in your productivity. People say that time is money, but that's not true. Money can be earned back, but time can't. Once it passes, there is no way you can restore it. If you're a teenager, you will never become a child again. If you're an adult, you will never become a teenager again. If you're an old man, there is no going back. We all have 24 hours a day, even if you become the world's richest person. You will not have more time than the poorest person on the planet. So, guard your time as much as you can. If you can invest in something that can save you some time, do it. Be it a habit you have to develop or an app you have to buy. I try my best to set my day in such a way that I can take the best advantage out of every hour. Of course, I don't plan every minute because that will make my life look too robotic and make it boring. But if I don't plan it carefully, I will end up wasting most of my time. Some people waste hours every single day because they can't fall asleep easily. Just lying on your bed for 2 hours just to fall asleep is 2 hours wasted every single day, or 60 hours wasted every month, or 720 hours wasted every single year. That's enough time to master a new skill or start a side business. Then what should you do? Well, find a way to fix that problem. In my case, for example, I tried multiple things until I found out that if I wear my earphones and turn on an audiobook, I can fall asleep within 15 minutes. I found out that I'm much more productive in the morning than in the evening, so I started waking up at 6 a.m. and started going to sleep earlier. Invest in making yourself productive, because time is the only thing that you can't buy. The more productive you become, the more time you will have. Number 4. Invest in Knowledge Just a few minutes ago, I told you about how skills are far more important than knowledge. But that doesn't mean knowledge is useless. In fact, the more you know, the more opportunities you can spot. In one of the previous videos, we talked about the number of great opportunities that could have turned you into a millionaire. But you missed them because you were too late to the party. The only way to spot such opportunities is to understand how new emerging technologies work. Those who understood how cryptocurrencies work early on realized their potential and invested. Today, they are millionaires and in some cases, billionaires. Those who clearly saw the future of transportation understood that moving to electric cars is the future and heavily invested in Tesla and also became millionaires. There are endless examples. The only way to spot a great opportunity is to invest in learning how they work. We know that AI is going to be huge in the future. Learning how it works can help you to spot the next billion dollar opportunity, or the quantum computers, virtual reality, and so on and so forth. Number 5. Invest in your health Most young people don't pay attention to their health. When you're a teenager or an adult, your immune system is at its peak. So, even if you don't exercise, eat unhealthy food, it can handle that. But over time, as you start getting elder, your immune system starts getting weak and you start getting sick more often. Because you did not pay attention to your health back when you were young. Now, you will have to spend more time in the hospital. Don't make that mistake. Don't destroy your health for some short-term pleasures. Eat healthy stuff, exercise, don't stress out about little things that don't deserve your stress, and have fun. Remember, investing in yourself is the best investment you can ever make. Don't spend a single day without investing in yourself in one way or another. These are the 5 ways that I personally invest in myself. I do my best to learn new skills and take care of my health as much as I can. And now it's your turn. Do you invest in yourself? Which one of these points did you like the most? Let me know in the comments below. If you have enjoyed this video, you will most definitely enjoy this custom playlist that I have created specifically for you that has our most popular videos that could potentially change your life. And now, give this video the thumbs up that it deserves and make sure to subscribe if you haven't done that yet. Thanks for watching and until next time.